Hey guys, welcome to Time Shine Homestead. And today we'll be foraging for wild apples right in town, guys. Hanging over, look, hanging over the road. Look at all the good apples on the ground. So, like, it's important for me, if you don't have to see there's one falling off the tree as it is. <laughs> if you don't have to buy your own apples for making pies and applesauce, here you go, guys. Look at the ground, just coated. I hope you like this, Robert. Um, we'll be, I'll be picking a full bag, and then we'll see you for the weigh-in. God bless. Hey guys, welcome to Time to Shine Homestead back, and, and we picked a full big bag of apples, guys. There's nothing like being able to pick your own fruit, especially when it's free. So, like, take a walk sometimes. Find find local apple trees in your area. Um, these ones are all going to be made for applesauce and apple pies. They'll be cooked, cinnamon and brown sugar, and frozen for pies and applesauce. But anyways, much love. God bless, guys. And we're going to weigh these in here. This bag's heavy, and i got to carry this two blocks, eh? Yep. Well, uh, we'll see how much weight we got here in these apples. Oh, they all going to break? Wow. Let people see. 24 pounds, guys. Just for going for a walk and uh, foraging for your own food, guys. 24 pounds. Not quite 25, so I'm not going to say mm -hmm. maybe 24 and a half. Yeah. But we're only going to take the 24 pounds. So yep. that's uh, the way in for the apples. Beautiful day, guys. We we weighed in a lot of food today. Much love, God bless. And we'll see you in the next skit in a few minutes. Welcome back to Time Chan Homestead. I hope you're all feeling great today. Uh, before we uh, pick some of the big sunflower heads to weigh in, these are Wilt Grow John's sunflowers. They weren't growing before, John Bro. I hope you're watching this video. Look, they're growing really good now, aren't they beautiful? Maybe they will, will beat a few people, but I didn't think they were going to grow. I guess the top roots have finally hit the fish guts that are below there. But anyways, guys, we're going to get to uh, showing you my big sunflower heads. They're ready to harvest already. The best time, to, if you want to put them on the barbecue, uh, please check out Flower Folk Farm. She could teach you when it's the right time to pick them. But these are, we eat them when they're black because we like to put popcorn and salt on them and stuff. You see, these are totally ready. And half of these will go to our, us and then the other half will be going to the cattle. But we'll be back with the weigh-in very shortly. Much love. Hi guys. Welcome back to Time to Shine Homestead. And yes, I, here's these beautiful heads that are already ready to eat or go to cattle. I'll be weighing these, those in. Aren't, aren't they beautiful? The size of some of these heads on these small plants. Well, they're not really small. They're six and a half, seven feet, some of them. But I just wanted to show you something before I do the weigh-in. I think Cosmic Cultivators had one plant that did this. It's split down the middle. I've never seen this before. It's split right down the middle, right to the middle of the plant. Look, you homing in on that? Yeah. And it's growing two flowers. But usually, the, like, I've never seen that before. But anyways, isn't that cool? Double header. And we'll get to the weigh-in. Much love, guys. We'll do the weigh-in right now. Really well, Mrs. Diamond Trent here. Whew, it's getting hot. It's going to be over 28 today. Yep. Plus humidity. Aren't they beautiful though? Yep. They're all cleaned up. We'll dry these out. Well, they're pretty well dry already, eh? Yeah. Like, look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll be eating half of these, and half of these will be mixed in. So if you have chickens, um, if, you, if you're having problems affording feed, like, get crack corn. It's the cheapest thing out there, and mix these sunflower seeds with your crack corn. And, you, and your chickens are getting a good good oil-based food for them. Anyways, we'll get these weighed in. We can barely get them all in the bag. So we'll see what these weigh up. And we got right on the money. Nine pounds. Nope, that's not even nine pounds, babe. Huh? Look where the pointer is, eight pounds. Eight pounds, that's still good. So eight pounds from the sunflower heads. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty good, guys. So we'll see you very shortly. We're gonna start picking Carrots and weighing the carrots in, tomatoes, everything, guys. Much love, God bless, and I'll see you in the next guy. Time time. Um, this is the corn that wasn't growing, guys. It's growing good now. But anyways, I'm all going to, the rest of the videos today are going to be zucchini and tomatoes. i got to get a lot cleaned up. But look how big this zucchini is already, guys. And it, <laughs> I don't want it any bigger than that. I don't care about the competition. Because they're too tough when they're getting bigger. That's pretty big, eh? Yep. Night, beautiful, eh? You see that on camera? Follow me. Put the bag there, please. I'm gonna pick some more. I got a few here to pick. Try to keep these videos short. As you know, I gotta pay for my downloading. It costs a lot. It costs money. But look, perfect size. I don't want them any bigger than that. I left these for a couple days because I was busy doing stuff. Oh, I didn't even see two. There's more than two in here, babe. 
Let's like this one. Oh my God, this one's huge. Look at the size of that <gasps> one. I didn't even know that big guy was in there. Who know? Holy. A hiding. Any more in here? Just in this one little arm. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's more, but they're not big enough yet, eh? I think there's one over there, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to slug on that, eh? Yeah. Wow, that, that's pretty big, eh? Yeah, that, it's heavy. <laughs> Look at the size of the one on the table. Yeah. I got lots of zucchinis coming to you guys. Mm-hmm. Wow, these are beautiful. These are monsters, eh? Look at the size of these zucchinis. Yeah. What, I have a couple small ones to pick over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. This plant still keeps producing small ones, guys. I don't know why. Yeah. I think Will Girl John said he... There's no one right there. Where? Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. These are beautiful. Like They're just starting. Wild Edibles loves these little ones, eh? Yeah. This is a weird plant. It's producing all of them like that. Yeah. No, I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one. Yeah. Is there another one? Yeah. That no. they're hiding? Oh, pepper squash in here. Yeah. First pepper squash is ready, guys. Yeah. And I'll break that off. I should be using the shears, eh? Yeah. <sighs> Look at that beauty. Yeah. And if you guys watch my channel, these are the, my recipe for baking them. Check it out. <coughs> I'm, I'll be doing the video again for you guys. So, where's my salt? See all this beautiful food. It's so, it, it, I'm just so, so happy to produce my own food, guys. Like, this is the, this is the potter with tomato plants. Look at the size of these cherry black abbas. Aren't they beautiful? They'll be picked today as well. Um, but anyway, this is two plants in one. I cannot pull a potter out of the ground. It, the roots are right in the ground. But anyways, I'm going to pick a butternut squash. My first ever butternut squash that I grew. I've never grown butternut squash before. And I don't want it any bigger than this. Holy man, I don't even know if I can get this off. Oh. Isn't that a beauty? Mm -hmm. Butternut squash. Yeah. So we'll get these weighed in. Yeah. Ooh. So hot, eh? Yeah. So we're just going to weigh these together, right? Eh? Yeah. So butternut squash, zucchini, and pepper squash here, guys. Beautiful. There's going to be some serious weight here, eh? Yeah. These are bigger than the last, this is bigger than the last one I grew. The book's way over there. Okay, you can write it in the book after. Isn't these, aren't these beautiful? I'm so happy to be able to produce my own food. I, you know what the funny thing is, guys? I don't even have a double R. That just goes to show you how much food you can produce. It's not even, this is huge. This one's huge. <laughs> I mean huge. <laughs> really, you can get it in the bag. You really can get this together. <laughs> so we'll see. Oh, I, can... oh, I gotta reset that because it wasn't set. I can't even get it hooked. Oh my. Wow. Wow. We're sitting at 27 pounds. Yeah. My scale's working a little better, guys. I, I'm just joking, guys. A lot of time I take weights off. The, the joke's not, the joke's out. I take weight off, off on purpose, just to be fair all year. But now the crunch is coming on. No more, no more being nice. I'm gonna weigh everything in properly. Much love, God bless, and we'll see you in the next skit when we weigh in a bunch of tomatoes. Welcome back to Time Shine. I'm sad and I'm going to be picking lots of tomatoes today, guys, because things are dying off. I, I, and I got tons of picking. Look at them all in here. I, I don't, it's important for me not to waste food. But anyways, guys, I will come back with the weigh-in, guys. These are pear tomatoes as well as early girl. There's so many different kinds in here. It's unreal. Anyways, here's some ripe ones here. Here, Mr. Time Shine. Should I eat that on camera again? Yep. Mmm, delicious. But we will be back. Very shortly. God bless. Say hi to everybody, Miss Timeshine. Hi. Hi, everyone. God bless you. I'm back. After working hard to pick some uh, nice tomatoes. And these are the heirloom that John was showing in, in his video today, guys. I have his seeds because uh, Wild Edibles gave me some of them. Even though I didn't qualify last year. But these are, these are what they look like. And, and the reason why I left these out, these are not being weighed in because we're going to use them today. So there's no sense weighing them in. These are the Black Abbas. Aren't they beautiful? But John is right though. Like they're, they're 
the higher loom uh, doesn't produce as much, but there are beautiful tomatoes. I'd rather grow hybrid as well. But, but we'll get the weigh-in done here, guys. And that'd be it for today. Uh, I'm going to try to go fishing today if it's not too hot, my friends. Uh, I'll be coming out with our Global Gardening Teaching video very shortly, guys, here in, in the next couple days. But we'll get these weighed in and see where we're at. And we're sitting at 13 pounds. 13 pounds is 13 pounds. So 13 pounds will be added up. We're going to add up the total weight for the day today now, guys. We have to go walk over there. Yeah, there's some, some more tomatoes there. What's up? I forgot to weigh in, but isn't, doesn't that one look weird? Yeah. Oh, well. I might lose a pound. Oh, well. <laughs> Put those in the bag as well. And now we'll go over to, I said 13 pounds, right? Good yeah. Luck. The thing is, guys, when it gets really hot, I can't think. I get dizzy. And it's going to be a hot one today. 26 plus humidity, probably 34 today. Where it says tomatoes. So, and I said 13 pounds? Yep. There, 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 there's some big ones in there, right? Eh? Remember, we're at 366, so you add it all up together. So we're going to do it over here? Yep. 366. So I've already added the first pile in at 27, 24, and 8 is 59. Yep. Right? Yep. So I'll add, uh, I'll add 13 on to 59, right? Mm-hmm. 13, sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. I made a mistake there. So when the heat just, you can't think sometimes, guys, when the heat, with the heat, eh? That's 12. Look at these beautiful brownies Susan's right beside me. 10, 11, 12. Carry the 1. So total weight for today for a team seven. Did I add that, bro? Oh yeah, seven. Sorry, seventy-two pounds, guys, for team will grow today. So I'll add that on to three hundred sixty-six, guys. Let's see what we got here. It's six and two, eight, nine, right? Yep. Six and seven is thirteen, I do believe. Carry the one. We're at four hundred and thirty-nine pounds total weight, guys. And you see, everything is done properly and labeled properly like John would want. So I'd like to say, uh, guys, I truly love you all. I want you to stay safe. Much love and God bless. Can we get the same as time, Shine? Much love. And we'll see you in our next video, our dear friends. God bless.